Welcome back to Between Bells. After years of debate, an interim policy change is letting college athletes monetize on their name, image, and likeness. Now many NCAA players are capitalizing on new opportunities to advance their personal brand while still in school. Joining us now, Sharif O'Neal, basketball player at LSU, and son of Shaquille O'Neal and Ryan Dieter, excuse me, CEO, CEO of Influential and influencer marketing company. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. Such a pleasure to talk to you. Sharif, as a college athlete yourself, what was your reaction when the NCAA announced this new policy? Um, my my reaction was, I, I was super excited. You know, I've, I've been hearing about this for a long time, but you know, now that it's here, you know, it's a, it's a whole new game. You know, I'm excited to get things going. I'm excited to market myself other than basketball. So, you know, I'm, I'm just really excited. I'm excited for all the other college athletes to uh, finally make a conversation off their name and likeness. So, you know, it's a big move in college sports and I'm excited to get it going. No, you're right. This is such a huge move. Ryan, how has your business model changed since the new rules came out? Well, it's been a pretty exciting time for the brands we work with. Uh, for many years, we're unable to monetize the name, image, and likeness of uh, athletes at the collegiate level. But now we can find amazing Gen Z audiences and content creators like Sharif that are not only great on the court, but also great on social media to drive real business outcomes. How do you find ways to drive you know, QSR activations for integrations with your know, favorite fast food or sports drinks or retailers? And uh, our brands are extremely excited about the ability to, to partner with some amazing athletes. And Sharif, what opportunities are most appealing to you? What are your plans now that you know you can monetize your career? Um, I'm I'm looking for uh, I'm looking to collab with brands that you know are positive for the culture, you know that bring positivity to the world, and are looking to help others. You know, there's been a lot of people who reached out, and a lot of brands that have um, have spoken to me, and you know I'll be announcing those soon. But you know what I'm looking for is just to be positive and spread it good message across because I have a lot of followings on a, a tons of different social media. So, you know, I'm just looking to be the positive person I am. I absolutely love that. We can all use some positivity. Ryan, I am curious, how much does this change the game when it com comes to influencers? Well, for I, I'd say for the next six months or so, expect tens of millions of dollars being put in the hands of college athletes from companies like ourselves, from the biggest brands in the world. So it's about equity. For I don't know how many years, uh, other athletes and other uh, students were able to monetize off of their brands they created on social, and it really is a game changer. So uh, no longer do you have to worry about these different rule sets around are they able to be eligible. All of that's now managed through technology, managed through partners like ourselves, and who we work with uh, that help make sure that you know, eligibility stays intact, while brands can you know help uh, you know help monetize the uh, talent they work with. Ryan, if I can stay with you for a second, what does the future of NIL monetization look like over the next few years? I mean, the, the sky's the limit. We're looking at not just from what we do on the social side, but really social is integrated into everything from shoe deals to uh, sporting contracts. Things are related to uh, creating new products that are in the marketplace. So I think it's gonna be probably a, eventually a nine figure plus business you know, as these content creators and athletes really show off what made them so great, you know, in their, in their collective audiences at local schools and now nationally. Sharif, what has it been like being a student during these times, especially during the pandemic? Um, I would say that was probably one of the hardest years of school I had to do. You know, I, I came to a new school. I transferred from UCLA, came to LSU, and I didn't touch a classroom for a whole, whole school year. You know, I went from home straight to the gym. I've never done online school before being at UCLA and doing it here. It was a big change, you know, I didn't really see anybody around school besides my teammates. And uh, I respect anybody who went to school during the pandemic, because I know it was a hard time and it was kind of scary, risking your life, walking around, like just everybody was really sick. And it was really hard, you know, I'm glad things are starting to open up now. I'm looking forward to being in the classroom, being able to connect people around school and finally see a full uh, a full gym when I play basketball. You know, 100% capacity gym at LSU is gonna be amazing, so I'm excited. Yeah, I have no doubt you guys totally feed off that energy. Ryan, back to you. With this game-changing rule, even though it's temporary, how do you expect it to change the business model moving forward, not just a year from now, but if it stays 10 years from now? 
I mean, the, the desire of influencer marketing from the biggest brands in the world have only increased almost double year over year. So the benefactors, which are these you know, college athletes that are you know, the, the best content creators because they are able to you know, show off their wares, what they can do on the court, what they can do in lifestyle. Uh, and I mean, the, probably the most desirable newest audience is that kind of mid to older Gen Z audience that really has a giant purchasing power. And this is the, one of the big unlockings of 150,000 plus college athletes that are now available uh, for these brands uh, to monetize and activate. Uh, I think it's gonna be a, a new bastion of, of dollars into the hands of, uh, of Gen Z uh, creators. Yes, yeah, certainly a new frontier here. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being on the show. Sharif O'Neill, basketball player at LSU and son of Shaquille O'Neal, who's also a friend of the show. He's Shaquille's on the show a lot. And Ryan Deer, CEO of Influential. Gentlemen, thank you.